upset that the game got extended? Oh, yes, I was. You know, I, I, uh, I didn't like the timeout being called, and I'll be totally honest with you. Um, I thought it was, uh, you know, not necessary at that moment, uh, especially being a large lead. Um, and then for to have the timeout um, be called with three seconds or four seconds to go, um, you know, I thought that that was, you know, what I felt wasn't fair to our guys. And so that's, that's what happened. Just a follow-up, if you wanted the game to get done, why keep the press on against Wisconsin's backups at that point? Oh, we was, it wasn't a press. We was just five pressure defense, man to man. That's what five is for us. We're on the line. Juwan, um, here straight in front of you. What uh, happens between being upset about a timeout being called and raising it to a point where it looked like you hit another coach in the face? What kind of happens in between to make that happen? Well, basically, uh, you know, I addressed with uh, the head coach that. I will remember that because of that timeout and uh, for someone to touch me. And I think that was very uncalled for him to touch me as we were verbalizing and communicating with one another. So uh, that's what ended up happening. And that's what escalated it. Yeah, I guess if you could, I guess, expand on that a little more. What? what no, I would not expand on it. I just well, share with you the story. What happened? Well, as far as touching, I mean, obviously, it's obvious touching with the handshake line. There, it must have been more than that. Oh yeah, it was it? more than that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Touching, touching me unnecessary was wasn't caused for that when we were talking. And at that, at that point, you know, I thought that was you know time to protect myself. Was there anything earlier in the game besides the timeout that they could see you? Oh no, oh no. Wisconsin did a, a really good job in the second half. Uh, making adjustments on defense, uh, give credit to their staff, give credit, credit to the players. Like we talked about before, we came out in the first, second half with a, a run. Defensively got stops when we needed. Uh, then when they made their run, unfortunately, uh, we had some shots that were open, that were clear open shots, particularly three point shots, that just not, they didn't fall down. You know, it just didn't go down for our guys, but uh, we got some really good looks. They went back down, and uh, Johnny Davis did a re really good job of attacking the paint, finishing uh, too many paint touches in the second half for uh, Johnny Davis. But you know, he's a very special player, uh, very gifted, and you know, Wisconsin put him in a position to you know, uh, take advantage of our defensive lapses. Steve, over on the right. Are you anticipating this might result in any sort of suspension or anything for you later this season? Well, I respect you know whatever the Big Ten decision that they make, um, you know, it's, it's up to them and I will respect whatever decision they end up uh, making. Abby, I'm back, back break. Over here. Um, I have a question about the game for you. Uh, you know, uh, Wisconsin's bench players haven't been contributing a lot, but in this game, uh, Jacoby Need, Chris Vogt, and Ben Carlson all have big moves. Was there something that you saw differently about them than what you prepared for? Well, we always prepare for it. You know, every guy that's I've seen them touch the floor for Wisconsin, and they have a really good team, and deservedly so. They deserve to be you know, ranked where they are. Um, they, they do a really good job of uh, playing you know, team basketball, sharing the basketball, sharing the game uh, defensively. Uh, they're very solid on the defensive end. You know, they have a, a deep rotation, and you know, I commend the young guys for stepping up at home, especially during a you know, special time when they're celebrating you know, a fellow you know, Badger, who does some special things here at his university, and the guy I'm speaking of is Michael Finley. So we expected a, a sellout crowd. We expected a team to come out, you know, with a lot of energy and effort. Joe, Joanne, what makes Johnny Davis so difficult to, to contain? You know, he's improved a lot since his, since last season. And, uh, you know, thinking back to some of his growth, uh, he's added, you know, the attack downhill, He's relentless in getting to the paint. He has a, a nice temperament about his game where he doesn't rush anything. He gets to his spots, uh, whether it's finishing layups or pull-up jumpers. Um, he's also very good in the pinch post area. Um, and, you know, whenever he, the defense does, he's showed a lot of growth in being patient and taking advantage of what the defense give him. Um, you know, that says a lot about you know the work he put in in the, uh, in the off season leading up to this point. Right. Um, Juwan, your players talked about the you know family and protecting family, but 
guess when it then leads to more players jumping in to you know, what became a fight. Unfortunately, it was, uh, the, 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 you know, it had to end up like that. Didn't like for it being that way. Um, but you know what? Um, I respect our young man for saying what they're saying you know, as far as we are a family and truly, uh, but did not want it to be in a situation where it escalated like that. Thank you. We got time for two more for Coach. Take one. Basketball question. Anything else for Coach? All right. Thank you, Coach. Thank you.